Hey guys, welcome to our tips, tricks, and free things to do around the fair video. Stick with us and we'll show you all the neat things that you can do at the Texas State Fair. So one way to get to the fair without having to drive all the way downtown is to take the dart. There are multiple lines going from different places in the city that makes it convenient for you to ride downtown. And the dart will drop you off right here at gate 4 at the entrance of the State Fair. If you do decide to drive down to the fair, I highly recommend not parking in the premium parking on fairgrounds, but park in one of the lots around the park and you'll find parking for cheaper. This year it's about $10 to $20 for a spot. One way to save is to get a season pass to the state fair. So this allows you to enter for free anytime you go. It also has a free bring a friend pass Monday through Friday. So you have extra value with that. There is discounts if you order it ahead of time. And so typically if you go at least two times during the weekend prices or if you go three times during the week, it pays for itself and more. During the weekdays from 11 to five, you can come to the Dar House and get sodas and the water for a dollar. And on Sundays, they're open from 12 to five. If one of the pathways you're gonna walk down is super busy, Walk up here close to the cotton bowl and there is a lot more space to walk to the other side of the park. If you want to try some of the specialty fried food from the fair, I highly recommend splitting it with others to cut down on cost and calories. You should also be aware that a lot of times on Thursdays they have special deals. So this year is a bird dog is two coupons cheaper. So always be on the lookout for those. Okay, so at your Fletcher stand, you can get a regular corn dog, a turkey dog, which is a bird dog, and a cheesy cup. If you get a cheesy cup, I recommend letting it sit for a little while to let the cheese melt on the inside, otherwise it may not be fully melted. You can come to the automobile building and check out all the cars at the car show. Check out the dog shows and the pig races here for free. Check out the butter sculpture in the Arts and Crafts building. If you have time, check out a cooking demonstration in the Arts and Crafts building as well. You want to see some cute animals? Come to the Birding Barn, where animals are being born every day. Don't forget to get your picture with Big Tex. Fun place to come is the Go Tex Pavilion, where they sell all kinds of things that are made in Texas. You can also sample some of the food that is provided by some of the vendors here. Another fun thing you can do is come to the Hall of State. Each year they have a fun exhibit that they show off different things. This year's exhibit is the Mavs. Some of the things they've had here in the past have been replicas of the White House and Texas State Fair history. One of my favorite things to do is the Texas Chevy Ride and Drive. You can drive as many vehicles as you want and you also get a free t-shirt on the end. With your admission into the fair on the weekends, you can come to a free rodeo here at Fair Park Coliseum. Each weekend they have a different rodeo that you can enjoy. So if you're an animal lover or not, you can check out the livestock building which has all kinds of animal judging all throughout the fair. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you and your family have a great time at the fair. Walk over here close to the cotton ball and there is a lot more cotton ball. <laughs> Um, and Texas State here for State here. One of my favorite things to do is the Texas Ride Chevy Ride and Drive. Texas is 